When we were expecting our fourth child, we embarked on the adventure of building a cottage on a river. It was a dream for my husband to have a place to go to experience the water and share it with our friends, family, and church. My husband is known as being the fun guy that loves to push the adventure days to the limit from sun up to sun down. There have been several baptisms here on our own beach which included some of our children and many times it will be the first for a child to experience riding a tube behind a boat or getting up on a kneeboard or water skis. And on the quieter side of cottaging, I enjoy sitting by the water early mornings with a coffee on the deck and making s'mores on the campfire. And of course, barbecued dinners are so simple and yet delicious. In the last 12 years that we've been here, the interior has looked basically the same. Some hand-me-down furniture has been more than sufficient and there are many scratches and chipping paint to show the wear of many fun summers here. Now that the kids are getting older, I have started thinking about a few minor updates to freshen up the spaces. I will definitely share those with you as I tackle them one by one. Whenever friends come in the front door, they will usually set down their bags and coolers and make a beeline for the lake straight ahead. It's such a beautiful and tranquil spot and easy for young and old to use because the land is basically flat and entry to the water is gradual. Here in this powder room, the ceiling was left exposed. The wood you see is actually the floorboards in our loft. And the vanity was made to fit the space, leaving the plumbing exposed. This keeps the room feeling more open while giving it some character with the rough looking wood. We did include a simple laundry closet and this has been so useful, especially for all the towels that we seem to go through. I chose flooring that I thought would hide the dirt and sand and I think it has done that. Oddly enough, it looks clean when it's dirty and dirty when it's clean. For the dining table, we use a pine table that we used to have at home and the chairs were given to us. It doesn't bother me that things don't match perfectly and somehow I think cottages are supposed to be that way. The kitchen here is quite large with ample counter space so I didn't put an island in. I find it keeps the area nice and open for kids running in and out to get freezies. We do most of our entertaining here at our cottage as it's only about an hour from home and easy for people to get to and just come up for the day. I help design the kitchen to allow the view of the lake while I do dishes and have the fridge and microwave nicely tucked in. The open shelves were recently redone in barnwood and I have everyday dishes on the lowest shelf and I really like how it looks. Eventually, I would like to repaint the cupboards on the bottom just to give it a new look. Our bedroom could use some freshening up, but for now it's simple and cozy and the dogs come in here for a quiet place to be as well. This is the boys' room. We tucked a dresser into the closet to keep the room open for beds. We did the same for the girls' room. The closet just has curtains with a thrifted dresser inside 
and the girls have the room arranged how they like it for all their sleepovers. My favorite part about our cottage is having one big open space to gather and all of the quality time with family and friends. When we aren't outside, we all spend a lot of time in this living room. It's warm and cozy and yes, I have a fire on in the summer because it was a cooler day. The beams on the ceiling are definitely structural. When it was being built, it was surreal to walk through a space that had a fully done ceiling, but was open air before the walls were added. Along with the two bedrooms, we also have a main bathroom here through this hallway. Thanks so much for listening and also for following along as I share my decorating ideas. I hope you enjoyed this cottage home tour and found inspiration.